festivals are definitely a good way of promoting music. They run the industry at the moment, they run the UK industry. I think online platforms are sick. When I was coming out, there weren't these platforms. I think they opened like, I think they open a lot of doors for artists like myself. Because they help push, they help put us on the stage to be seen and heard. That's it, so I think, yeah, it's all positive. The online marketing now has grown to global scale, but lately it has reversed the growth to local level. It's called Local Online Marketing Platform, where the strategy is not to amass a huge chunk of market, but by spreading into small local groups and catering to the market locally. What, what do I think if I put out a video with Link Up TV, for example, and it hits a certain amount of views or Grand Daily or whoever, and they've got a monetizer on it and they make money off that? I know that. A lot of rappers do not know that. That these websites, when they collect, when, when, they, when you do an exclusive for these websites in a video, no matter how many you do, whether it's a video every week or Rare Tete, these websites are, pro are getting more money of that project than you, depending on what type of artist you are. If you're an artist that's running up and down and doing shows and you're doing what you're doing, you're getting money, you're all right. But when you're getting all these hits, it's promo for you, but it's money for them. I had my music videos featured on a few other channels. And obviously, I didn't know they were making money out of me. Found out they're making money out of me. And there's nothing I can do, it's just like, there's nothing I can do. Now I've learned from my mistakes that I kind of, all my music videos will feature on my page now. Like, I don't want them on anybody else's. But like, interviews and stuff, I don't mind. If you're gonna make money out of it from your, from your YouTube, I don't really mind that. She don't want beat, I tell a sucker dick. Okay, okay, okay. Street pharmacist, street politics. Yeah. The online platform does a lot for us UK rappers. I was trying to get um, established and get known car. Without Link Up TV and. We'll still, get, we'll still be known without them, obviously they've got a bigger platform because they've got like, they've got a lot of subscribers on the channels and a lot of people on the channels and they've got a lot of videos so some people, instead of just typing your name in YouTube like, ah, oh, snap a phone, let's go and link up TV and watch all the latest videos, all the latest stuff, so yeah, it's a good look, man. I understand, I do understand that, obviously we give them a video and if, they, if it gets hundreds of thousands of views or whatever, they're going to eat off that, but at the end of the day, they built the platform. Yeah, they built that platform that we actually want to come here and put our video on this channel because it reaches us to our audience. That certain people are told me, I'm not even going to say it, that Roy, you get paid from views and that. Now, if I really wanted to, I can go and get money from these people because, yeah, they're making money off me, but it's not, I'm not going to take it to that. The way I will go and get the money off of them, knowing that I will get the money off of them, it's not the correct way to do it, as in, doing business and that in the industry, innit? So. Let's just say, speak hypothetically now. You hit half a million views. How much do you make from that, bro? I don't know. How much do you make, Kev? Bag. So then, how much would an artist be entitled to of that bag? Because the, if the artist is entitled to money, the producer is entitled to money. The, the video directors have to be entitled to some money. The channel might not, might have sent down some some joeys to film it and it might not even be bloody them that filmed it so you know what i mean so they might need their cut as well so what are we talking about here someone getting cut at 200 quid wait 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 i'm from the place not every man go remember me with my white boy i think i'm jango i'm a brother you got an ass like a mango the same for every member of my gang though when i was coming out there weren't these platforms you understand, but there's a bag of platforms now for you to do what you want to do. Like, I didn't know, you understand, my boys were some, on some different, some next shit. I didn't know about no internet shit, you know. And that's the truth. I found out about all this internet. But like, I didn't know who Grand Daily was until after Fresh came out. I'd, I'd heard of him, but I didn't know about this website because I was out on out on the street. I didn't know about flipping. Like, these man, these new men, they're my internet guys, isn't it? You understand? They all know about internet, internet, internet. I found out about internet recently. Channels, they have to be careful. They can't let everybody on. And that's why what you rappers need to understand is, yeah, you can't say, oh, but if I was this person, you would put me on or you would do this. But no, you can't compare yourself to other people because we, I'll be honest with you, yeah, that like, if you can all get a million views off my channel, then I'll put you lot all on. Why, why not, innit? But you won't. Like, some of you rappers get 100 views in a week. It's terrible. Because I'm aware that these online platforms, they get videos, film videos and stuff, and obviously they get paid. However, they get paid through the whole YouTube thing, so without that content, they're not going to get paid. So in actual fact, the artist is making them money. But it's always the artist paying them to make them money. Really, they're just smart. 
You see me? And it's the same website that you probably have to turn around to all of them and pay them this amount and much to put your mixtape as the banner on that particular mixtape all throughout the month. And that's gonna cost you some numbers, especially if you're not a dog and them man they don't know you. You call them up saying, yeah, I wanna um, put a video up, I wanna put a banner up on the rating, and listen to the numbers they tell you. And then you realize that it's not no bullshit. So these men are raping, killing the games. So, like, if I do a video for Graham Daly or SPTV, let's say, yeah, like, I shoot the video, or whoever, Morgan shoots the video, Capone, whoever, and then they put it on their channel. To me, that's their video, if that makes sense. Future real, my burn is real, my diamond is real, and you know this. Yeah. I'm getting money in and out of South, I spend a thousand pounds on my loafers. It's really money's money, but um, that's, that's something, that's down to an artist's relationship with the channel. Like, now that you've told me that, I'm not going to come off the, this interview and give, and give Adi a phone call and be like, yo, uh, how much have you made off that? Like, that's my brother. If he's made a change off it, I hope he's done well for him. Get me. Like, I'm, I'm, I know a lot of that stuff goes on, but at the same time, you could look at it like this. They say, listen, you know what? You want to be a, a rap star. You want to be a music star. You want to be a pop star. You want to make it big. To make it big, you need exposure. This is our channel. We get X amount of subscribers. And we can't guarantee you X amount of views, but this is genuinely the type of views we get. And you're going to need that if you want that exposure to get to a certain level. We can do that for you. So it's down to us to put the best product out on these channels and then the fan base for us will grow. And that fan base could result in, for example, a fan sees my video, he now becomes a fan of my music. When I put a CD out for sale, he might then buy my CD. So if you watch what everyone's doing now, make it on YouTube channel. 50 Cent realise that every time he puts out a video, whether it be YouTube or World Star Wars, YouTube had to give him a little chat and say, all right, cool, this is what's gonna happen, Ray Tay Tay. So he just said, no, fuck it, this is 50.com. Now all the traffic's coming his way, so all the money that you're paying, these websites and doing, you can do it yourself. If you're a man that's in the industry and you link all of these rappers and you claim that you're doing this and doing that, you can do it yourself. In a nutshell, if they're making a bit of money off of artists, like for example, say me now, if they've made a bit of money off of me, I wouldn't feel um, robbed or like a little bit or disheartened. I wouldn't feel away. You understand? I would be happy if, if some of them have made money. Because it's more than music for some of them. I want to see man do well, not just for my benefit. But for this, you feel me? I like what certain of these channels are doing, fam. I'm supporting what they're doing, fam. You know, I'm going to make money regardless. Because I'm, I'm making music to make money. I'm not making music. So if someone, like, puts my video up on, like, you know, wants to promote you or something like that, like, you want to take it and say, you know what, I'm not getting no money from it, so I'm not going to do it. Like, I'm not really been that guy. Yeah, I'm about to check, but at the same time, you know, if it's going to open a door, I'll pick the open door over a check. So if they're making a bit of money, they deserve to, fam. It's hard work, fam. You get me? Man, enough of these cameramen are coming out hours and hours until early hours in the morning or coming out late at night. You get me? They might not be driving. You get me? Recording in the rain and that. Feel it for them still. Some of them are putting in their groundwork. That's their grind. That's their graft. They're entitled to that little extra perk. You get me, fam? What separates us from other platforms? Um, I'd say the main thing is that we're generally seen as, look, this is a place where I can see everything that's going on. So we operate as two things, you know, a platform for all the latest news, whether that's music videos, freestyles, films, documentaries, dramas, whatever. That's all news. That, that is all news and everyone knows, look, I want to see that stuff regardless of who shot it, I come to GRM. Grand Daily were smart, bro. They, they were the first to set up their channel properly. It looked professional, it looked nice, it looked tidy, it looked presentable, it didn't look tacky, it didn't look like, you know, someone done it on one of these free web design pages or they spent £20 or something, you know what I'm saying? It's like they, they, they put a little time and effort in there and obviously paid off for them. So on them, to be honest, they, they run the industry at the moment, they run the UK industry. Whatever they put out is what you guys see. That's it. Because if you tell these little kids where do you go, where do you guys go to see music, they'll tell you, yeah, we go on YouTube. If you say where do you go to search on YouTube, I suppose the first three names that'll pop up will be the Grand Dailies, the SBTVs. Like uh, they're the three, I think they're the three main ones that people go for to look at UK, and I think them three kind of control who's hot or who's not kind of, but at the end of the day, it's the viewers as well, it's the audience, it's the it's the youths nowadays that are watching the video, so I think they're, secretly, it's the audience that controls. Same time, I know what you're saying, like, they're making money off of artists, and they just all they've done basically is just put up 
a, a, a website and just slapped everyone's videos on there and made it look neat and tidy and benefited off that. But it needed to be done, they did it first. Simple but effective, capitalised. And...